how my husband killed my mom out of anger. After the birth of my second child, my mother-in-law was supposed to come for Mugo, but she was so sick. So we decided to ask my mom to come and help out. When she came, a day after the uh, uh, naming ceremony, I was inside the room with the baby. My mom was in the sitting room. So I was hearing my husband screaming in the kitchen, shouting. And I said, I dropped the baby and decided to go and check up on him. When I got there, I said, Oni, what happened? Why are you shouting like this? What happened? He said, what happened to the gas that we filled three weeks ago? I said, ha, ah, sorry, I was supposed to have told you. It finished like five minutes ago. You know, because I just gave birth, I'll be needing a lot of hot water. And then uh, my baby too will be needing hot water. I know my mom is around, so she too, she will be needing hot water, maybe for tea or the rest. He was very hungry. I was trying to calm him down. Before I knew it, he slapped my face. And I was crying. My mom came and said, ah, what happened? Why are you hitting her? Why did I just give birth? Is this how you've been beating her? Is this how you've been treating her? I was trying to calm my mom down so that he would not get angry with my mom as well. But you know how mother is. She kept on talking and talking. My husband was saying, I don't know how you are going to do it though. Make sure this gas come back. I'm not going to put any money down for gas. My mother now said, is it because of gas you are talking like this? Is it because I was now saying, ah, ah, honey, are you going to disrespect my mommy because of gas? Before I knew it, he hit me again. When my mom jacked his clothes, he pushed her away and Mama hit her head on the wall. Mama fell to the ground. We rushed her to the hospital. On getting to the hospital, they confirmed Mama dead. Hmm. I have to lie to my father and my siblings that Mama fell from the stairs. She hit her head. Mama has been buried now. But I can't, I don't know, I can't forgive him because each time I look at his face, I remember what happened. It's, it's over a month now, but the wound is still so fresh on my mind. Even though he has asked for forgiveness, but I'm so scared that something else will not happen again. But I don't know if I should leave the marriage or I should continue. Please, this is a cry for my sister. Let's help her out. What do you think this woman should do? Is it okay for her to forgive and move on with her life? Or she should just leave the marriage because a man that can do what he did out of anger is most likely to do another one again. So please let's go, let's help, let's reach out, let's reach out through our comments. What do you think this woman should do? Do you think she should just leave the marriage or she should continue? Thank you very much. May the soul of this woman rest in perfect peace. Yes. The thing is this. In some situations like this, we need to be coming down. This lady is asking a question if she is to leave the marriage or to stay. The truth of the whole matter is that the death of the woman is like a wound that will never that will be very, very difficult to heal in that family. You understand? Especially from the heart of this particular girl in question. Now, even if she, even if the man never do her anything bad for the first time, because of this particular thing, any time that she remember her mom, she will be feeling bad over the husband. You understand? So I will not advise her to leave the marriage because if she leave the marriage, she will remain there. You understand? To leave to 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 divorce a man or to divorce in fact let me say to divorce a man because a, a man can even marry wife any time that he wants but for woman it's not really easy as such. But if the man never do anything, since he's asking for forgiveness, I will advise you just to forgive forgive him. But if you have been if you have wicked hearts, you have been if you have been treating you bad. Anyway, this is not the right time to leave, but if anything occur, 
you use that as an opportunity or an excuse to to leave the marriage you understand but before anything you need to use your tongue and count your teeth because if you are seeking advice from the audience some people will advise you based on their own understanding and perspective you understand so i think communicating with your family will also be a nice decision my humble opinion on family you can share your own opinion or advice on this woman i just come across this particular video on facebook i said that i'm going to share to my online family to know what is your own opinion because i know that some people who are watching this video say have experienced this kind of thing or the other or some might still experience it in future i believe the comment section is the best place where we can learn and know things that are happening in the world thank you